Hi, Todd Vandenberg here with Vandenberg Capital Management and another Uncommon Sense update. So here we are, it's the morning after the election and you know, go figure, we don't really know much. Um, it's not 100% clear uh, if the Republicans are going to keep the Senate, but if, if we take the data that's currently available at face value, it looks like they might. Uh, we don't know who's won the White House yet. There's still six states that have not been called and um, but if we take the data that's currently available it looks like joe biden might have enough votes to get him to exactly 270 electoral votes which would make him the next president of the united states now before anybody gets upset at me for saying that or is thrilled at me for saying that um, we have to remember that several of these states have made fairly recent changes to their election procedures and there have been some recent uh, court rulings in those states that are likely to be challenged. And so we need to really expect that in places like Nevada, Michigan, and Pennsylvania, that we're gonna see litigation that could last weeks. So I wouldn't expect either side, either you know uh, President Trump or former Vice President Biden to be conceding anytime soon. Uh, so we should expect that you know the lawyers are gonna be sort of driving this process for at least a couple of weeks. The House, we might actually, sorry, the, the Senate, we might actually get those final results here in the next couple of days. And, and again, if, if the data holds out, what it looks like we're gonna have is a divided government, which as you know, some of you who watch these updates may recall back in late September, you know, I, I took a step back from the market a little bit, just on the off chance that we had one party rule of uh, our federal government, because if one party rules, then the rules of the road are going to change for publicly traded companies. And you know that, that means that there would be some sort of volatility, likely volatility in the stock market. So as it sits now, having you know, taken a little bit of a, of a step back in late September, we're not ready to step back in with those funds that we set aside because we don't really have the final results yet. But once we do, if we have divided government, uh, then, you know, then we may start looking to put, you know, some money back to work again. Now, if you think about what might happen in the, in the coming months, so once the election is sort of over and everybody's sort of settled down about that, there's a, there's a stimulus package that, you know, the government's been talking about for the last several months that could be in the tune of two to two and a half trillion dollars of additional spending that the federal government might push into the U.S. economy and that's sort of why we think the markets uh, are, are reacting as they are right now. So over the last couple of days, we think the markets, the speculators in, in the markets, were in anticipating a divided government. Well, now that we're closer to having that result and potentially having that result, uh, you know, the markets are up today because I think the markets are also thinking about this stimulus package. I mean, you put two, two to two and a half trillion dollars of money into the U.S. economy, it has no, no choice but to generate economic activity. So we're sort of, you know, again, waiting a little bit, you know, just being a little cautious uh, so that we can get some final results and know that there's going to be divided government. And if there is divided government, then we'll be looking for opportunities to find things that might be on sale or, 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 or get back to investing as we have been invested for quite some time. Because again, with divided government, the only stuff that gets done is stuff that both sides can, can agree on. And that, you know, for the most part is typically good for, you know, we the people. So uh, be patient, wait for the final results. And hopefully in the next week or two, we, we will know all the results. And then we can sort of get on with the rest of our lives and start looking back again at how, how do we get through this COVID crisis and how do we get our economy safely reopened uh, and get people back to work so that, you know, the, the millions of people who are sitting unemployed right now can get back to, you know, taking care of their own business and paying their bills and you know, those kinds of things. So if anybody has any questions about that or, you know, the stock markets or the economy or they want to bend my ear about the election, feel free to call me. I'm here. I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. But that was your update. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a like, give us a share, and I'll be back again soon with another Uncommon Sense update. Thanks for watching.
If you'd like to be the first to hear of more Uncommon Sense updates like these, please click the subscribe button below. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again. Thank you.